in this problem we have a rigid frame ABCD which has been supported at point C and which is restrained by two non rigid roads, so cables, at point A and B. We have to find what are the reaction forces in the roads A and B, given a vertical load P apply at D. The roads are identical and they have a young modulus E and cross-sectional area A and length L. So the question is, what is FA and FB? In order to do this, as usually, we can start drawing the free body diagram of the problem. We have here the applied force P and the reaction forces FA, FB, RX, and RY. Remember, this is a pin support, so here the displacement in the vertical and horizontal direction is constrained. But now we can apply the equilibrium equations in order to find the values of these reactions in terms of the force P. First, we have that the sum of forces in the horizontal direction is equal to zero. Then we have that, and this is our first equation. We have also that the sum of forces in the vertical direction is equal to zero. And from here, we directly obtain that Ry is equal to minus p. And this is our second equation. Finally, we have that the sum of moments, for instance, at point c, is equal to zero. Then we have that, and if we rearrange this equation, we have that and this is our third equation. Then we have three equations, but one, two, three, um, four unknowns. Then we need to find another additional equation in order to solve this problem. As you can see here, we have three equations, but four unknowns. As you can see here, we have three equations, but one, two, three, four unknowns. Then, because there is one redundancy in the problem, we need to find one displacement compatibility equation. Then, in order to find the displacement compatibility equation that we need, we're going to start considering a rotational deformation of this rigid frame ABCD which is rotating with respect to point C. Then we have something like this. Then the deformation of the cable A, delta A, is equal to the length of this segment A, A prime, and the deformation of the cable B, delta B, of this segment B, B prime. If we look at the geometry, this angle is theta, then this is equal to 2b times the tangent of this angle. And also we have here that this length pp prime is equal to b this length times the tangent. We can approximate the tangent to be more or less equal to the angle. Then we find that 
delta a is equal to 2 times times b times the angle and delta b is equal to b times the angle so from here we find that delta a is equal to 2 times delta b and this is the fourth equation that we were looking for now if we use the force displacement relationship we know that for an axial loaded member delta is equal to pl divided by ae so if we apply this equation into equation 4 we find that fa times l divided by ae is equal to 2 times fb times l divided by ae so remember that the area the modulus of elasticity and the initial length of those cables are identical so from here we have that fa is equal to 2 times fb now we can substitute this result into equation 3 remember that equation 3 says that 2 times fa plus fb is equal to 2b so if we plug this result here we have that 2 times 2fb plus fb is equal to 2b therefore we find the first result which says that fb is equal to 2 over 5 times b then now if we know fb we can use this equation in order to find that fa is equal to 2 times fb so this is equal to 4 over 5 